went to a plastic surgeon. I have the surgery, I wake up, and I was left with nothing. He removed all of this. What do you mean removed all of what? The W part of your nose, the middle. So it was there before? It was there before. And you didn't know he was gonna do that? No, absolutely not. My name's Laura, and I can tell from experience, two nostrils are better than one. I'm just sick of being stared at. Yeah, I wish it wasn't like that. There's a hole in my nose now that leads directly down to my throat. Everything's gone. Ah! Wow. This woman appears to be missing a major part of her nose, and that includes the columella, which is this part of the nose right here, and the septum, which is the uh, part in the middle that's composed of cartilage that basically helps to hold the nose up and give the nose its shape. And when you lose that, the nose basically uh, flattens out. It's called a saddle nose. There you go. Oh my god. Complete missing column. Mill. Probably no septum, no nothing. Oh my. Well, that is how I would probably react if she came into my office. Is I would go, oh my gosh. The most common reasons why something like this could happen would be cancer would be number one. Uh, another reason would be trauma. When we have trauma to our nose, we can develop something called a septal hematoma. Now, once again, your septum is the cartilage that separates the two, basically, um, nostrils or the, the nose in, in half. And if you get a blood collection in the septum, the pressure of the blood can actually kill the cartilage and can cause the septum to actually perforate or get a big hole in it. And the third thing uh, are drugs. So if you snort cocaine, that can constrict blood vessels. And by constricting the blood vessels, uh, if you do it long enough, it can actually cause that tissue to die. But 11 years ago, I went to kiss the top of my dog's head and he came up at the same time and his tooth went through the middle of my nose. What? I see a lot of dog bites in my practice. Uh, because I take emergency room call at a local hospital, if somebody gets bitten on the face by a dog, sometimes they'll call me in to help repair it. But I have never heard of this situation where a dog's tooth goes through a person's septum and then causes the septum to die off went to a plastic surgeon. I have the surgery, I wake up, and I was left with nothing. He removed all of this. What do you mean removed all of what? The W part of your nose, the middle. So it was there before? It was there before. And you didn't know he was gonna do that? No, absolutely not. I don't know why a plastic surgeon would remove all of that part of the nose. You oh. lost the entire septum? Yeah, all the way back. Oh my God. I've never seen anything like this in my career. The problem with your nose is this tissue underneath here, it doesn't look healthy. It doesn't have its own good independent blood That's supply. Okay. The interior structures of her nose appear to be completely gone. Now this is something that can be reconstructed, but it is not an easy operation. You need two things to reconstruct the nose. You need cartilage, which you can take from the ribs, uh, from the ear. Uh, the ribs probably would be a better place just because you can get a fairly straight uh, piece that would fit in that area much better than from the ear. Uh, and then the other thing that you need is you need lining, meaning that if you just put cartilage in the middle of the nose, it's not gonna heal there. It will basically die off. You need to actually have what we call lining to be on each side of that cartilage, and that lining needs to have its own blood supply. Now you can use the lining on the inside of the nose and actually flap it down to create lining, or you can take lining from another part of the body. The other option, though, would be a prosthetic, and that would be a very easy thing technically compared to the operation. Did you know that you can look upwards of five years younger in just two minutes a day? You don't need to put a ton of products on your skin to look and feel amazing. The Yoon Beauty Two Minutes Five Years Younger Skincare Bundle is perfect for the busy person who wants glowing skin with the least amount of work. I put these four products together just for you. They're made with natural and organic ingredients, great for all skin types, and perfect for all genders. Check out the Yoon Beauty Two Minutes Five Years Younger Skincare Bundle at YoonBeauty.com and get over $30 off the individual product price. I guarantee you'll love these products or your money back. 
but we have a guy who's a professional at prosthesis, and I'll bet you that he can fit a prosthesis for you. How's that? Sometimes in plastic surgery, less is more. There are situations that do call for us to pull out all the stops and do a big eight-hour operation to reconstruct a person's face. There are other times where you can do something much simpler, and I think that in plastic surgery, we don't pay as much attention to prosthetics as we should. There are prosthetic manufacturers that are absolutely incredible. They are artists in their own right. And in some people who have cancer surgery where parts of their face are removed and they don't want to undergo massive operations to reconstruct it, which could have its own complications, then prosthetics can be an absolute lifesaver for them. Kill us. Seeing Dr. Nassif even get emotional it makes me feel like I'm in the right hands. The silicone is going to look exactly like your skin. He needs me to create some things called undercuts. Robert is looking for undercuts. One challenge that we have with prosthetics is that these are items that are basically placed onto or into our body um, that are made to be there for hours and hours and hours during the day. Uh, you don't obviously want to take them out in the middle of the day and clean them off or something like that. And because they're present for so long, there's always the concern that the pressure of a, of a prosthetic to the skin or the tissues that are around it could cause erosion or ulcers or things like that. Uh, and so sometimes people do need to undergo minor operations to help create the best, um, I guess bed would be a good uh, term for it, for the prosthetic to fit in place. That's the base of the bone. Right. And these are like little shelves of her natural anatomy that the prosthetic device can actually lock onto. All right, so we're done. It's cool to see Dr. Nassif, a facial plastic surgeon, working with a prosthetics expert. And it's great because the healthcare team, you know, a lot of people think healthcare teams, doctors and nurses, but there are so many people who are involved in the healthcare team that are absolutely essential, from scrub technicians, CRNAs, anesthesiologists. Uh, you also need to include people who are uh, in, let's say, central processing to make sure that we have the instruments that we need, and even prosthetics. Okay, let's okay. Dun, dun, oh. Here's what you've been waiting for. The way it's going to go is like that. Voila. Oh. Isn't that amazing? That looks so real. Thanks to Dr. Nassif and Robert Barron, I have two nostrils and a prosthetic that fits securely and also looks great. Wow. It's not going anywhere. It's so you could go out. to a rock concert. Yep. See, she can do that. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> That is awesome. The way that they created that made it so easy for her and she looks really, really good. One big lesson from her story is that you need to communicate with your physician. Her plastic surgeon apparently removed parts of her nose that she did not expect would happen. And that is not okay. If you're gonna have any type of surgery, especially plastic surgery, make sure you and your surgeon are on the same page. And the surgery that is performed is exactly what you asked for. Well, this patient ended up with a deformity that was not of her doing. But sometimes people create their own deformities by choosing to change their body in ways that are absolutely extreme. Take a look at this video right up here of a woman who decided to have 4,600 cc breast implants on each side. It is absolutely horrifying.